Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Diesel Mercedes YouTube channel. 2008 Mercedes-Benz S550 with 200,000 miles on the odometer. There's problem with an electronic parking brake. Anytime I use it, it will get that red text to check the operating manual. I know it doesn't work and I have a code. What is the code? It's a 5160, which is for check mechanical components for proper operation and installation. So let's go and do that. Coming from the back, if you have a lift, it's very easy to see that entire unit. It's right here. This is a metal shield, but right behind it that electronic or electric part the box and it splits on both sides so here is the cable which will be pulling this driver rear side parking brake here comes two cables out one of them is that longer cable which will be pulling passenger rear wheel parking brake and also there's a one little I will say cable too, which is a leaving from there and it's being guided actually through here and it goes all the way to the fuel filler cap or behind the door right there and that's for emergency release of this electronic parking brake. So there is some problem, I don't know where I've tried multiple times to use the scanner and activate and deactivate this parking brake. When I do that and I observe the live data, the pull on the cable, which is in Newton meters, keeps changing. So I can see something is working, but still, after you do it once, you go in some kind of limp mode and it stops working and you are done. You will have to completely turn everything off, restart the vehicle, restart the scanner, and then again, you can do it once, but then it goes, and there's message that pre-existing whatever conditions are not being met, therefore it will not do it. So I know the button which is next to the steering wheel on the left-hand side that works because it does some activation. I don't have problem there. The problem will be in this assembly. So I removed this entire caliper. I checked that the shoes, parking brake shoes are tight inside of the drum. So there's no problem. This is all adjusted. Here is the whole assembly, but there's nothing you can really see getting underneath this metal right here this one i was able to use the hook and get the one end of this parking brake system off it's like a hook this is how it was there so it was right inside here and i was able just to unhook it and this side is free I did the same on the passenger side, here it's unhooked the cable and if you listen it keeps moving through. It was easier because there was no tension uh, the other cable on the other side gave so it was easier to unhook here and I can hear it's freely moving through that motor assembly. Here is the view after I remove that protective plate. I think I will be removing three 10 millimeter nuts instead of removing entire backing plate because there is a bad access. Put the cables in this position so they are in the similar position on both sides. Now let's see. If I use that brake system from the cabin, if it will work or if it will still show the malfunction. 
Now when I'm absolutely quiet, I should be in park. If I pull on it, it disappeared. I didn't hear anything. I'm still pulling, but listen when I push on it. I definitely heard underneath the vehicle the motor moving some gearing and it shows right now that I'm in the park. If I pull on it, I hear nothing. But again, push. Yep. It made some noise, so definitely this is commanding the entire mechanism. Nothing pulling, but again I heard that sound. I can see this cable is definitely pulled in. It was sticking more when I popped this little cover that should show right there if you see it in the upper right corner. That's that emergency, electronic parking brake emergency release access. In the tools at the spare tire, there should be a special tool for this. You insert it in and turn it clockwise three times and that releases the electronic parking brake. Of course, in my case, all the tools, everything except the shore lug nuts which you need for the spare tire. I have spare tire but everything else is missing and I didn't purchase those short lug nuts yet so I'm going with these as I said there's two on the bottom 10 millimeter nuts and the one that's on the top instead of removing bolts from behind this there's a bad access. I cannot see the third one, but I can feel it. It's a similar part. On the body has a similar shape there, and I fell there with my fingers. There is a nut there. So I just undo it this way. I should make it loose here, which it is. So I will unhook the electric connector again, because I put it back for the testing. We know definitely it's moving, but I think the way it moves, I think it moves too slow. That was my feeling. Now I need to release this cable right here. The problem will be, these ones are easy, the bottom ones, you see that. But the problem will be with the release which goes next to the to the fuel filler. The whole assembly has to be disconnected right here. It has to be pulled. I have to pull it, that entire cable also, through underneath that paneling. I have to pull it. Oh yeah. So I was able to push it in. Now I will pull it all the way out. I don't have a new part yet, so I will put this cap back. So it made it underneath the paneling. This is the emergency release. Here, over here, it should just make it easily. I can grab the whole assembly. And again, carefully without damaging anything. Or scraping something. Get it out. And here is my trophy. Here you can see that whole unit. That was the driver, passenger, and this is the real saw release all the way up to the gas tank. Incredible. This is Mercedes Benz original part, and guys, actually. There is a code 171207, which in European means 17 December 2000.
2007. This is a model year 2008. So we just clearly discovered this is original parking, electronic parking brake from Mercedes. It's written on it. It was never replaced. I don't know how long it was not functioning, but right now this vehicle has 200,000 miles on the odometer. So I hope this gives you idea where it is located and how to remove it. In different video I will open it, try to rebuild it, or if it's not fixable, I will need to get that entire actuator new. Thank you for watching and have a great day my friend.